want of a nail, the shoe was lost. For want of a shoe, the horse was lost. For want of a horse, the rider was lost. For want of a rider, the battle was lost. For want of a battle, the kingdom was lost. And all for the want of a horse. There is a hole in front of the shovel, shovel in front of the brawn. Six billion gorillas for whom the graves yawn. Each with the his mulish days to choose his tool of trade. Dueling blades that cue the cruel charade and fuel the flames. Few would clue the crew into the civil. Just get the food and land like you the man and flew the coop over the pit bulls. Dash back, flash you the compassion and nine on police. Sat beneath an avalanche, jagged an inadequate season. I will stop the violence more than I was Pontius Pilate. Cops and rappers riot by the five obnoxious sirens. A is a gullible, figure all man equal, no brainer. Take it as friends and neighbors, bit and cater. Moms raised the babies through a very churchy 80s. Sunday mornings reinforce the waiting gates of Hades. And he brazen, but apparently inferno bound now. For when a man of court beside his wrongs, he wouldn't bow down. The punishment should fit the reasons you must punish him. Never puncture skin or pull the colored rugs from under them. To opposing motherships shall not employ the gunner's deck. As brotherhoods of public good do not employ the unctuous in you. Observing how the giveth is disproportionate to the take of the way. Decide to make it his day. All the stomach odium glow in a coal holster. When it could have stood easily in a tub juggling toaster. No mountain too high, no city too far. Tonight, no city tomorrow, no fire to live, no city to charge, no treaty to sign, no city to guard. strongest powers are the two in the most danger of devastation. All we have built, all we have worked for, would be destroyed in the first 24 hours. And even in the Cold War, which brings burdens and dangers to so many countries, including this nation's closest allies, our two countries bear the heaviest burdens. For we are both devoting massive sums of money to weapons, 
that could be better devoted to combat ignorance, poverty, and disease. A grim logic was beginning to emerge. Nuclear disarmament was not achievable, yet nuclear war was unthinkable. By 1964, McNamara had concluded that his no-cities plan was a dangerous illusion. War would only be avoided, he now thought, by the threat of mutual suicide.